recorder for quality purposes. My name is Christopher Maslinski. I'm calling to um, inquire as to, uh, to see if there's any charges being brought against me by the um, district attorney's office. Okay, this, the district attorney's office is a different number. If you need that, okay. And I don't think. Yeah, we don't. It doesn't work that way. Like we want to have something that says if charges are going to be brought against you. Okay, then um, how would I find out? Um, I don't know. Huh. Um. I mean, have you been, have you been arrested? Yeah, I I've been falsely arrested. And, um, I believe that, it, you know, it's being brought against me, um, in, in a fraudulent manner because, it, um, it's not from the district attorney's office. The district attorney, um, I, I have no contact information about a prosecutor and, uh, it's got, it's causing me a lot of harm and I'm, I'm trying to, um, to find a remedy, uh, or, you know, to information to, to properly address these matters. So. Well, what about the, the police department would be where you would... Well, they, you know, there. they're the ones that have harmed me, and um, they, they don't take... They take complaints against themselves, but um, they're treated in a civil manner, and um, I, I've gotten no response to these complaints, and um, my, my uh, access to um, to the FOIA process is being obstructed, and... Um, now, this is what, against the district attorney's office or the police No, department? I have nothing against the police. Yeah, I have no problems with the, with the um, district attorney's office. I just, I don't think, you know, they're the ones that would bring um, formal charges. And um, and they haven't, because, I, I, well, I've got no correspondence from them. So, I mean, the police can't be the complainant, um, the witness, uh, the moving party, and, uh, and, and the... Pardon me? I mean, you're, you've been, what, what, are, what charges are you being investigated for? Um, I don't know if the district attorney's office is investigating me on any, but um, I, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, because I think that the police department that's caused me harm is uh, is bringing accusations against me, but I don't think that they were ever presented to the um, district attorney's office to see if formal charges be brought or to, to take it to the grand jury. Well, it sounds like you probably, I mean, in my opinion, that, you know, I'm only a receptionist. I'm not an attorney, but I think you would know. Um, but now, can the U.S. attorneys here prosecute federal cases? Okay. So, I mean, I can give, I mean, if you want to call, I mean, if no news is good news, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, well, I did get, the news I got was my door getting kicked in, and I was, um, I was falsely imprisoned. And, um, I still got no paperwork concerning that. And, um, I, I, I asked the uh, sheriff's department, I, I called the court, I tried calling the number for professional... Well, Marshall? No, it was the um, the Erie County Sheriff Erie County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, but you should be getting a report from them. Yeah, I know, and they haven't produced any paperwork, and I was in jail for 18 days, falsely imprisoned, and I've still got well, no paperwork. Well, have you? Did you have a um, an attorney given to you? Um, no. There, there was um, there was a man there. I, I, I don't know in the court when they brought me there from the jail. But uh, he wasn't my attorney. He must have been the prosecutor, but he wouldn't tell me what his name was. And then um, I, I demanded for a probable cause hearing, and then um, I was taken back uh, to the jail, and then that, that hearing was canceled, and I sat there in jail. And uh, I requested re repeatedly for paperwork concerning this matter, and um, I've gotten nowhere with that. Hmm. I mean, that sounds a little crazy if you didn't even know how uh, I, I know that. That's why I'm calling. Court-appointed attorney. Uh, I can give you the Volunteer Lawyers Project if you want to call them to see. Volunteer the Lawyers? The U.S. Attorneys don't give legal advice. The U.S. Attorneys are represent, you know, in behalf of the federal government. Yeah. So they can't even ethically, they can't tell you, give you any advice. I'm not really, I'm not asking for legal, advice. yeah, I'm not asking for legal advice, uh, just the inf information uh, so I can, um, uh, determine how to how to proceed with these matters. Yeah, but you're calling the U.S. Attorney's Office and we didn't have anything to do with it, so we can't comment on it. Okay, I, I understand that. You know what I mean, you know what I mean that way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, but it, I mean, it certainly sounds like you should have had a court-appointed attorney. Well, I, I'm uh, more concerned with um, 
you know, the papers, these warrants that, um, that they're claiming to have, that they haven't had. Did you, like, did you, did you um, do something like in, in writing, in form, like a formal letter requesting your documents? Um, I tried in the past, and um, the court won't accept my paperwork. I mean, you could contact the attorney general because she would want to, you know, hear about something if nonsense was going on with the police department. Yeah. So, yeah, because so, she oversees us. She oversees them. Right, the, the attorney general. Yeah, is that 853-8400? Yeah. Yeah, I called that yeah. already. I, 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 it's hard. To, I know sometimes it's hard to get through. Somebody. Yeah. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you, you know, unfortunately it's kind of late on a Friday, but yeah. you call the Volunteer Lawyers Project. Do you want that number? Yes, I do. Okay, because I know a lot of people, you know, will call and they use it. And I know somebody that, that worked there that came over here that, you know, so she, she was getting all the calls. So they really do try to help you. So, okay, that's of course our area code, and it's 847. Okay. 0662. Zero six six two. I would imagine you're stressed out, which I totally get. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, I've been harmed. You know. You know, if you want the, yeah, you want the answers. Yes, it, it continues to happen. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm under threat at my own home. You know. Yeah, that's not a way to live. Not getting the paperwork. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for your help. Yeah. I, I, and with that too, I just I do know that you know if you mail it to them, if it's certified, they're going to sign and receive it. That they would hopefully. Honor your request. I do know that they like people like things in writing. Because yeah. I used to work for the Office of Professional Discipline before I came here, and that's for anybody who has a licensure to work in the state, so like doctors, lawyers, or pardon me, nurses, dentists. And I would get answer the phone. But they would physically have to have something in writing before they could start an investigation. Oh. So I don't know if they go like by the same thing that they you can't make the request over the phone. You gotta like send a letter. Yeah, well, that court. Uh, if you certify return receipt, at least you'll have something that that's proof that they did receive it. Yeah, I did that, and uh, they refused it. They sent it back, refused. But I have the receipt, and I have the letter uh, refused. So um, they had to refuse any paperwork from me. But um, you know, threats are being implied, and my, and my door was kicked in, and uh, you know, so somebody's got to hold these yeah. uh, these municipalities responsible for the actions they're taking. It's out of control. Yeah, yeah, I agree on that. Okay. Oh, you know, oh, uh, do you, one more question, quick, quick question. Uh, do you know how I would contact the grand jury to make a criminal complaint? The answer doesn't work that way. Um, you to file a complaint. I know you can do that, like with the clerk's office. Yeah. I mean, like I know on our. On our end of it, I know that you can file your own complaints um, through the clerk's office. I know at a federal level that they do take accepted complaints, so there's got to be something, the same thing with, um, I would assume with the Buffalo City Clerk, and I can give you that number. Did this, this happen this happened with the police department, um, and you had contact with the district attorney's office, or no? I, I did, but they did. They really didn't have any answers for me. The Erie County uh, District Attorney's uh, Office. They they said um they're, 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 they didn't have anything. And honestly, that's something I learned new today. Where somebody had, you know, something happened and there was never any um, charges filed. And you know, he had somebody come in and take stuff and you know, they broke his door down, but nothing ever came of it. And I just learned that today that it doesn't always, you know, because he was trying to get like a uh, pistol permit. Yeah. It showed somewhere, but not somewhere else, and he never had any charges. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's the first for me. Because if, if there's no charges brought from the district attorney's office, then, then I'm not being um, charged with a crime. Exactly. Exactly. So why, why are these well, courts are telling the sheriff's department to kick my door in if I'm not even being charged with with the crime? Well, I'm sure that was like probably part of their investigation, and then charges are brought after if anything it was, you know, was needed to move further. So it's not, so it just sounds like they maybe weren't right. Yeah, well, the, the problem, I could see that, but uh, the problem I have with that is it seems like they could uh, address that in a more um, humane manner, such as serving, yeah, properly I, serving I papers agree. before taking violent action, yeah. uh, you know. Right. And I know everybody has their procedures, and I know you mean like that early morning thing is what seems to want to catch people off guard, and, you know, uh, yeah. I certainly learned about that, but. All they would have had to do is. If it was an error, they could 
say, whoops, sorry. Yeah, they're never going to do that. That was on um, June 5th. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and with that thing, too, I mean, after, like, I don't know how quickly they have to write the reports and turn them over to the, you know, I would assume they write the reports right away, but, you know, for you to be able to get a copy of things. Yeah, I try not to make assumptions, but, I've, you know, I've went down every avenue possible to um to obtain these papers with, uh, to no avail. So, right. I, um,